right, we're in Battles Bridge in Essex. And uh, why is it called Battles Bridge? You'd imagine there was a battle here. Well, there might have been, but it's more likely to be named after, what's his name, Sir Reginald Battell, who was a big wig around here in the 14th century. That's when the name first started to uh, emerge. But it could have been St Altov's Bridge. You know, they just couldn't spell it properly. Anyway, St Boltoff was the uh, patron saint of wayfarers, so, uh, you know, we might as well have a bridge named after him. But it's probably Battles Bridge. <laughs> Battles Brig. Who knows? It's one of those. And, uh, well, if you look around, the reason why we're here is because... There's a pub, the Barge Inn. But as you can see, it's another sunny day. It was, it was snowing yesterday, believe it or not. This is a British Easter. Battles Bridge Free Church. It means you don't have to put anything into the collection. Or it means something entirely different, like there are a bunch of non-conformists. I don't know what they do there. They'd probably throw their hands in the air and roll their eyes around and speak in tongues and all sorts of things they could do. Doesn't sound very British, that, though. Anyway, they do weddings and funerals by arrangement. And here we are. This is, ooh, as you can see, there's a, there's a duck pond. Why I'm telling you that when you can see for yourself, I do not know. But um, we're going across here because Maltins Road, that's usually a sign that uh, there was a brewery here around these, these here parts. <laughs> And a bit of a waterway. Anyway, it's full of antiques and and tea houses and pubs and all sorts of things. Just the sort of place that you you'd want to visit. Now yeah, I want to know why that's called Cromwell House. See, there's lots of things that we need to know. Look, why is that what? called Cromwell House, Helen? Why is it called Cromwell House? House and I, why I, were the stocks? I suspect uh, Cromwell stayed there overnight when he was on his way to somewhere else. Oh, right. Well, there you go. <laughs> Mind you, Cromwell wouldn't have approved of the free church. He wanted everybody to pay. Now, Oliver Cromwell was... Uh, you know, I know he was a roundhead and all that, and uh, the uh, commander of the the new army, the new look army, and against the flat earthers who supported the king and and such like. Uh, but people tend to think of him as a very strict sort of Puritan, but he was actually quite liberal-minded. He wasn't quite as pure as. Uh, as his reputation. He was a, he, he, he wanted a bit, a bit of a leeway um, in church. He, he, he thought, you know, it was pretty much up to your, your own conscience. As long as you weren't Catholic. That was about it. it as far as he was concerned. But he was surrounded by a lot of, uh, well, complete arseholes, really, when he came down to it. But that's probably for another time a bit of Civil War history because we're now going to an antiques shop to get some antiques. Why are we getting some antiques, Helen? Well, we're not necessarily. We're just going to go and have a look-see <laughs> because Lawrence has got addicted to antique shows on the TV. So. I thought, well, we're just going to have a look-see. Yes. As a, as a writer of antique shows on the TV. Right, here we are. Find your chairs, put in the bedroom. Uh, yes. Oh, where, where should we go first? Afternoon. Oh, afternoon. 
What's life like for the antique business? Uh, at the moment, very tough. <laughs> <laughs> it's extremely hard at the minute. It's, uh, we're coming out of uh, the, the depression of winter, and hopefully it's going to, uh, it's going to yeah. pick up. Uh, well, yeah, it was snowing yesterday. It, it was snowing yesterday. And now it's really it's nice. and today than it was yesterday. Oh, it is cold, right? I, I don't know. I just I got out there. Oh, I was put, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's yeah. made a big mistake today. He's yeah. coming, he's seen the sun and he yeah. said, oh, I'm going to wear a uh, T-shirt. Yeah, it's well, yeah, it has a not chill. Not really yeah. the way forward. Yeah. 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 But do you know exactly what you're looking for? No, I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. Uh, I'm, I'm just looking at your uh, artworks here and wondering where they came from. Uh, well, I mean, this is um, a guy called James Arundel Massey. Yeah. And he used to build lighthouses for the government in the 20s. Oh, right. And um, he moved to British Columbia, retired there, and done these pastels in the 40s and the 50s. And then you've got like the Art Deco works there, and you've got some more Art Deco, and you've got some more Art Deco prints there, but they're reproduction in 1984, and they've got a stamp on them. So you, you you were a, a member of the uh, what's the name of the group again? The Knocker Jungle. Knock the Jungle. Uh, Rock it, the Jungle. It was called Knocker Jungle. Knocker Jungle. Oh right. When they came down, it was a five-piece band. Yeah. They came down to Liverpool. It was called the Fragrant Blend then. Yeah. Uh, we formed. It went down to three. We formed Knocker Jungle. Yeah. And just before they released a tune in 1970. Yeah. Something uh, released the album. I did help write all the tunes, but I just left them just before that. So ah. on there you'll see him and you'll see him, but you won't see me. Damn, <laughs> was that a good move or a bad move? Are you leaving them at that um, point? You thought you were moving to somewhere else, so another yeah, better, a better band. <laughs> yeah, I, I did join another band. I yeah. did join another band. Yeah. Um, there was another one, a soul band, Mick Williams and the Midnight Men. Yeah. Used to play in all the black clubs years yeah. ago. Yeah. Made made some money and then had went a good time. Up. Yeah, <laughs> had a good time like today. Yeah. Well, I used to write for the Bill. Did you? Thirty odd years ago. Do you know Jeff McQueen? Uh, yes, I met him. He's my brother-in-law. He is. Oh wow! Is he still alive? No, he's dead. I was going to say I he died. Uh, I think it's about 44 when he died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, and I know. And he'd gone Jeff, Jeff, quite early. And when I was with the Midnight Men, Jeff, he um, he was a guitarist. Yeah. And he joined us for a little while. Oh, right. But he was. Because we were cool, like, uh, yeah, like yeah. a soul band. He used to go behind like the shadows oh, and, like that, oh, and right. Marvin and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suit us, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, so he was a guitarist. Yeah. Oh, right, I didn't know that. And oh. now you know, it's more probably. Oh, wow. He was more probably. Yeah. Because yeah. he's come there. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, no, he, he, wrote, was, he, wrote, he wrote quite a bit. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, the, the, yeah. the, the, the first series of that was, was mostly him, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, and that was the hour long. I came in not when it went to a 30 minute thing. Yeah. And they just gave lots of young writers uh, a job. Uh, all my friends wrote episodes, but yeah. we all went on to it. There's a lady here who's come to collect her teddy bear. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> is Cromwell House and it was built in 1860 so it's got nothing to do with Cromwell uh, so it says it's an early example of concrete construction there you go claim to fame it's concrete 
In 1884, it was let to G. J. Blanks, Esquire, a grocer and draper, at a rent of £40 a year. And he sold everything from corsets to candles and seat wax and string. And it remained in the name of Blanks until purchased by the Galley family in 1968, when it quickly became the heart of what is now the largest antique centre in Essex. And the scary thing is, I can remember my mother washing me in a zinc bath, just like that. Your mother <laughs> washing me, bathing me in a zinc bath, oh, just like that. That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> no, well, but you weren't there so then. Much, <laughs> you're so much older than me. I, I that's, keep forgetting. That's this. right. Now the question is, is that Battles Bridge or Battles Bridge? Is it Battles Bridge or Battles Bridge Bridge? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's Battles Battles Bridge Bridge, and that's the Muntings. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Twenty-three likes for my great daddy. Oh wow! Mm. It's not a day out unless you've got ice cream. <laughs> but that's not ice cream. Mm. Oh, it is. <laughs> It's oh, it ice cream, yeah. Does it taste like it is? Mm. See, 500 calories. <laughs>